A soft rain falls as my eyes adjust. There is a black figure beside my van. Looks to be a stray dog sitting on his bottom, sitting on his bottom and staring directly at me. Creepy. The stray looks to be a mixed breed of what I have no clue. He's large with black tattered fur, tongue hanging out of his mouth, tongue hanging out of his mouth. The dog looks at me with the demeanor of an eager soldier. The beast seems wiser than I and not the least bit afraid as if I'm the lesser mammal. Hey buddy, take a step forward and pause. No reaction from the beast. Rain increases. A modest thunder murmurs from above. Quick strikes of lightning manifest in the distance. The storm is ready to implode as the strange stray stares into my soul. I remember what my grandfather told me about storms and animals. Chills. I must have been about seven years old and everything he said I believed to be gold. We were at Hobo's, me and Grandpa's favorite place to go. Hobo's was his favorite place because Grandma couldn't go. It was too smoky. It was my favorite, was place, my to favorite place to go because Grandpa, grandpa would always, would always $10 give me $10 and quarters, and quarters, to, play quarters to play the arcade games. However, that day, Hobo's wasn't my favorite place. The weather was scaring me. Loud thunder and Loud lightning, thunder lightning shook the building. I couldn't focus on Pac-Man. The lights went out a few times. Grandpa's old drinking buddies and the flickering light all seemed to be monsters. I tried to focus on Pac-Man. A strong hand grabbed my shoulder. Grandpa. Let's go before the storm keeps us here. I lost every damn hand tonight. Speckles of whiskey-tainted spit hit my face. I noticed a mole on Grandpa's nose. Bad breath, Bad missing breath. teeth. Missing teeth. He was a monster too. I grabbed the leftover quarters and gave them to him. He dropped them into a jar on the bar and we walked outside. The temperature was freezing and way too dark considering it was early afternoon. Grandpa slipped in the gravel parking lot and spilt his to-go drink. He cursed because of the ruined drink, not the fall. I helped him up and we got into his pickup truck. Rain started falling. Grandpa dusted off his sleeves, cranked the car and laughed. He drove. We stopped at a red light. The rain fell hard, and Grandpa changed the windshield wipers to move at a faster pace. Grandpa was a theatrical man for someone who worked in coal mines for over 30 years. He began to narrate what was happening in his overly poetic, showy way. There's a storm coming, different than average. The sky looks funny. You start feeling apocalyptic. An empty soda can rattles down the street. Last few birds sit on the swaying wires. Back and forth they sway. Back and forth they sway. Suddenly, they take off into the haze. See, when you want to know if shit's about to hit the fan, watch the animals. When they act out or they're gone, perhaps you should be too.